Welcome to another day with Montevino Valentine. I am the co-founder of the Pride FX movement. Now, if you have not subscribed, please do subscribe, hit the like button, as well as the notification bell, so that you do receive future videos we do have on this channel. Now, let's get straight into today's video. Yesterday, we spoke about the review on the punchback system. We also stated that you will be getting MetaTrader 4 and you will be getting MetaTrader 5 at the same time. Now, this system to me, um, like I said, I'm not very impressed with it. And to see why, please check our video before this so that you know what we are talking about today. So today we are just speaking about how to use the system and very effectively for yourself and it makes more sense for you to use it the way we are going to explain it to you. Okay, so the first thing is how not to use the system. So the first thing is you don't just want to take every single um, signal that you do receive from the star. Many of you would have liked to take trades just uh, depending on the non repaint star. Um, in the review yesterday, I did explain that this thing does um, it does repaint in its own way or it gives you late signals and that's why it does not repaint um, please watch that review so that you understand what i mean by them so how not to use the system we don't just want to take every single star we see pop up and the reason why is because when we do get a breakout of a of a trade for instance this one over here we had that breakout and we can see we got that sell confirmation now what that means for us is basically to take a trade and that is to sell the market and we can see how late that signal is also being given from the entry point so we would have thought that when we are using the system the market gives us a signal right above there but the problem is when the market only gives us a signal when the market is below this point we can think of the system as um, the parabolic that does that way um, the market would move in a certain direction and eventually when we do get a breakout then the market would give us a sell or a buy depending on which side the breakout occurs here we have a breakout and like i said we can see here we have that sell signal and from there we can see the market reverses and eventually when it breaks out over there which i would have stated as a late signal like i said yesterday and if we look closely we can see that the market does go back down and eventually in our favor so sometimes it does give good signals and sometimes it does give bad signals that's why i'm saying how not to use the system and how to use the system um, another example of that is how not to use it is we can see that the market over here breaks out and we get a sell signal over there and the sell signal would have came when the market broke broke this line over there and then we got a sell signal but what we can see is that the market reversed gave us a nice buy and then reversed again gave us a sell um, i would have been emotional by this time as because of the signal that are provided and eventually it does give us a good signal over here and the market does go up to that point some of the trades you wouldn't want to take just because and it is very uh, demotivating i would say to some people who have decided to continuously follow the lead of this thing because as most people would have said is that when the, when the thing gives you a signal such as this one let's say you take a sell over there the market gives you a buy so we'd have closed our sell trades go with the buy signal and then we had an exit for a sell over there yeah we'd have taken another buy and over here we would have taken a sell which was in a loss there we had a buy which was in a loss a sell that was in a loss and then a buy that was in profit and then a sell that's about to go into a loss so all that things does play on you because yes we do understand that we will only get 10 percent out of the market most of the times but for someone who is a trader you would expect it more from the indicator and that's the problem um, and we have to say how not to use because many people would have just followed the stars and would have expected the biggest profits on the stars um, how to use the system we basically want to be focusing on the supply and demand with the stars okay um, i've seen forex hub use this before and i've seen a few other traders use this before like i said it is a recycled system many people out there is getting their hands on this non repaint star and many people are also getting their hands on the supply and demand 
Many of you who have bought systems would have seen this over and over again where they have changed the color of the support and resistance. Okay, so let's get into the support and resistance. With the support and resistance, you do get a lot of things that most support and resistance does not give you. Number one, doesn't give you labeling. We we'll just get support and resistance and we would have expected to take a sell at the resistance and a buy at a support. And obviously over here, we can see that it's an untested resistance. What does that mean to you? It means that this market has a resistance, but it hasn't been tested more than once. Okay, that's why it says untested. Um, here we have a verified support. What does that mean? It means that the support area has been tested multiple times and it is verifying that this is a support level. Here we have uh, retest equals one. And what does that mean when it says equals one? It means that this support level has been tested once and not more than that so it means that when the next one comes it's going to be tested twice okay here we have another verified support and just to give you an explanation on that retest what it means is that when the market comes over here and it moves away from there that is a retest of once so if it ever comes back in here and it touches it again then it will be retested as twice so that's what it means by the count of that retest okay so even if we look at the code um just to bring that up again here we can see it says s13 strength equals verified then it says test count equals one so you can see in the in the coding background it's telling you that the count is actually just equal to one so very interesting and then we have um a weak support weak support just means that this was never tested but we did have a reversal a key reversal at this level but if we look across we can see that it once acted as a resistance so um very interesting to see that um appear then we have verified support weak support untested support so how to use the system is that when you get a verified support you don't just want to rush in and look for a sell trade or a buy trade. You want to be focusing on that verified support and take your signals in the direction of that support or resistance. This is a verified support. So once we do get that buy, you could have taken that trade and look how profitable it is from that point onwards. Then we had that reversal of a sell. Would I have taken this trade? Not really, unless I get a verified resistance. So very important to also look at the labeling of the supply and demand. And then over here, we had the market go back up here. Um, weak support, we wouldn't have even saw that. And the reason why I say we wouldn't have saw the weak support is because the market only registers it afterwards. So it's not going to register it as immediately that this is a weak support um, once the market reverses maybe after 10 5 candlesticks then only it will give you that that was a weak support level so we wouldn't even have known that that is a weak support or if it was a support level um, only after five candlesticks would we have known that that side is a weak support okay so we don't have caught this signal but the next signal is over here and why the signal is so powerful is because when we look over here it is a verified support and we can see from there the market does go to the next verified support level which would have acted as a resistance so would i have taken the straight no and the reason why i say no is because the market never actually gave us a resistance a verified resistance area so we wouldn't have known how powerful it is for the market to reverse back down to our verified support so that's the only reason why i wouldn't have taken that uh, sell trade over there here we have the market going back in but because it's outside for me it's a very premature trade so i wouldn't have taken that because it's not within or it's not buried within my verified support so most of you must be asking why is there no sell trades and the reason why there is no sell trades is because the market has been trending to the upside so as we can see the market is still on a strength on a very um bullish run so we can see that the market is still going up and it's going to continuously go up 
for the next few weeks because when we look at the daily we can see how far the market still has to climb to that highest point so very interesting to know that this strategy does work and the higher time the higher the time frame the better trade you get but let's say you are a scalper and you want to get into those trades very very strong that this is a proven resistance so we can see that from this proven resistance we will wait for that sell confirmation and then take that trade back down to our proven support so for scalpers it would work if you are using a one minute chart um, for a five minute chart um, depending on what time frame you are using for scalping and for those who likes to hold long i would say start from the four hour moving your way to the daily and then um, looking at their trades and also making sure that you are very patient with that trades if you are a um, long-term trader or you are going to hold for a long time if you are a scalper i would say move to the one minute the five minute uh, i would stop by the 15 minute because from there um, we would get mixed signals with the 30 minute as well as the one hour so it all depends on you and how to use it is basically just looking for that supply and demand and making sure that they are verified or proven resistance and proven support so that you do get the best results when you are trading with this non repaint star okay that's it from me montevino valentine from pride fx